So if you guys didn't see yesterday's video, you're probably a little confused, go watch it. But we're taking this S13K, we're gonna shove it in the Civic, make it real drive, somehow have a blast doing it and it's gonna be cool. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. So we have to jump right into today and start getting down and dirty. So to start the whole thing, we gotta strip this whole car. Like nothing in here is gonna stay. Nothing's gonna be the same. Maybe keep like the fuse box and the brake booster and stuff. Hopefully we can make that work. But for now, everything else gotta go. Especially this giant hunk of metal right here called the subframe. That is just not gonna work. But we do have a short day today uh, because we're having a little Christmas party tonight and I couldn't be more excited. Huge shout out to Anjak and Wallingford and Monza, of course, at Foxwoods for giving us a spot to celebrate the holidays together and have a great time and I couldn't be more excited. But let's get to work and start ripping this thing all apart. All right, so the subframe and everything's out actually came out pretty easily. So this will help us get a better idea of how the whole suspension on the Honda works because I have no idea. As far as I can tell, it looks weird as hell and I'm not about it. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this is the front of the car, this is the rear. And it has a lower control arm that mounts here and in the back. And um, the rack basically mounts on top of all of it. And this is gonna be our biggest issue. So the rack is very, very intrusive. It sits above everything in the back, which would get in the way of the engine. In the trans, since you know it was a front wheel drive application, now we're going rear wheel drive. So figuring out a rack position and figuring out how to make a different location of rack work on this knuckle or maybe use a different car's knuckle on here, it's gonna be the big issue. And uh, that's that's where I really have to brainstorm and figure out what we gotta do here. So, but now that the subframe is out, we have the room to get the K to sit all the way back so we can really see how this thing's gonna fit. So All right, this house you're gonna fit all the way back into the firewall, dead center, and hopefully the hood can clear it. So there's a lot of good things here. So the engine fits between the strut towers easily. That is awesome. We also have plenty of room between the radiator support and the engine for a big old radiator and a big old e-fan, which is fantastic news. But there is some major negatives here, which I'm kind of worried about. Uh, one, probably the most pain in the ass part, is the steering shaft is on the exhaust side. So steering shaft comes out of the firewall, like right here. So where we're gonna run the exhaust piping, who knows? And no fender dump or hood dump is not an option, especially with a KA, not good. And on top of that, the engine's pretty tall. And this car, kind of skinny. So the oil pan hangs quite a bit. Given the subframe's gonna be like here, that's still a little dangerous. Engine's not going up anymore. We could always shorten the pan a little bit or just maybe not slam this car in his face for once, but what's the fun in that? So let's pull the engine out again. It's probably gonna go in and out another 700 times, but for now, uh, let's strip everything on the engine bay, get ourselves a nice blank slate and just start going from there. So before we even try and worry about cutting a hole in the firewall, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do for a subframe because that's the first big hurdle. So of course the front wheel drive subframe, not gonna work at all, not even close. But I'm hoping we can just lop the ends off of this thing and have a good foundation to then build off of that for our new subframe that will then hold our KA. So let's take this greasy ass thing apart and chop it in half. How the fuck? Dude! What the fuck? <laughs> I hate this. This is not very Honda. What is happening here? Why is this not working? I'm better than this, RJ. That's just, this is true. I'm not gonna disagree with you. We'll get back to you after these messages. Oh. 
Nice. All right, so now we just have. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you do that in a jerking, twisting motion? Why don't you? Uh, bare subframe with the lower control arm still attached. So let's get this in the car and then cut it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those are cool. These dude. are perfect. Yeah, these are, are the, these are the ones. You ready? Yeah, here you go. Divest. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to leave where the control arms actually mount to the subframe. And then uh, we'll worry about that later on, how we're going to reinforce it. But let's just start cutting shit up, you know? Like, why not? We're going to rough cut first, get this thing out of the way, and we'll clean it up later. Sound good? Yeah, cut twice, measure once. Safety glasses, dude. Not only is he safe, but he looks red. You do look red. What's up, dog? What's up, dude? Oh, oh my god, it's scared for you. Yeah, dude, this thing's a that gangster. Thing's a that thing's a beast. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see anything with these on. Here, I don't need safety glasses. I don't care about my life. Give me it, I'll do it. Do you see how dark these are? <laughs> oh, they're way darker than they looked I before. I couldn't see anything. Oh my god, that's what you were cutting through? Yeah, so I might have cut the fire. Yo, that already. is probably the straightest cut he's ever made in his life. Oh wow, no, this is great. I can see now. It's good to me. <laughs> Yo, every time that blade jumps, I, I pucker a little bit. That was a real rough cut. Before it was like a casing, so you couldn't see anything. So a rough cut will do us good. And we'll obviously, we'll have to cut way more. But uh, I was scared to cut too much initially. So we could probably just like really cut this whole thing out on both sides. But for now, it's great. Hell yeah, brother. All right, so I cut this in the roughest way possible. But now we can actually see through it and make sure that I'm not going to cut the mounts to the low control arm. So we're going to cut this up nice and slender tomorrow. I'm going to plate it reinforce it and then from there we're going to start to build off and make the pedestal or new subframe for the k24 so so we'll jump right back into tomorrow and we'll just build up from here so but for now let's head to the christmas party and do some go-karting hey there I think it's like 185. Ready to party? Uh, yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. You're yes. gonna beat Jip. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm coming for Sammy. Yeah. Yeah. Sammy's I'm gonna fast. Rip that beard off his face as I go by. He's real fast. Sammy, you gonna win? No. Yes. 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 No. I don't know. Grant's on the weight reduction game. You see yeah. this thing? The helmet. thinks a carbon helmet's gonna help. Yeah. All, our, all of our helmets together don't cost as much I need as his helmet. Anything I can get to beat Lil Sammy. Okay. Big, I got about 60 yeah. pounds. On. Big, big boy. <laughs> We're in the back of the bus, kids. Please get one aim for RJ. It's gonna be a little tight when I sit down, but we're good to go, boys. faster car so I feel like yeah, I still got sixth place so yeah, yeah. yeah no I get third get out of here <laughs> I got eight oh, 
Yeah. He's getting yeah. really good. Fifth, baby. Nice Hell yeah. Good bad. Good bad. Second bank. Second bank. How'd you do it, guys? Eh. Eh, my hands are tired. I'm going to crush your score just like you crushed my heart. Yeah, you crushed me. It's not a damn video game. You don't get a score. Uh, the mods are like moving to canes. <laughs> So Sammy came in fourth, not a pro part, which is what we expected. Sammy's good. T-Span came right behind him, which is really impressive. And then we have Chip. Chip next. I do good? Yeah, nice. What I do? Me and him are in place. All right, so we're going out for another heat with the rest of the crew. I'm going out too because, you know. Um, I, need some, well, I need some more seat time, you know? And uh, we'll see how it goes. I think I think Sammy's going to come away with the win, though. Can we put him out on the drift cart instead see if he does any better? Should we put the drift rings on for Yeah, him? put the drift rings on for him. Right, we can do this guy. Oh, I'm that honcho. I'm going to go get a pro cart. Who's winning? Okay. Who's winning? Not Grant. <laughs> Grant. I don't think he's out there. Oh, that's <laughs> fair. Man, you guys got the spot. Man. <laughs> Fucking RJ, man. <laughs> My what? heart's like burning up right now from dragging that weight. <laughs> it smells so bad. IT boot boned you so good. When you hit me, I was still trying to turn, and no matter how hard, I had that thing all the way to the right, and it wouldn't go. And then I look over, and it's just you in the side, like. <laughs> How'd you do? I got a 39. Look at that. I beat Carter and Sumo. You beat Carter? <laughs> Yo, Steffi beat you. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> That's right, third place, baby. 37.6. Oh, I wasn't too far behind that second dude. How'd you, how'd you guys do? Who, RJ, did you beat DJ? Yeah. No, DJ beat me. DJ beat us all. Look at, look, me, DJ, and Jesse all right here. Nice. Josh beat all of you, so damn. Where is Josh? Yeah. Looks like Jip's in last place. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Yeah. The best part. Food. <laughs> Watch out, Ma. <laughs> How'd you do out there? I did really well. Yeah, what's your time? Um, good enough, It wasn't right? bad. It, it wasn't was good bad. enough. It you, was good enough. Last? I was, no, I was sliding, man. Did I was you beat sliding RJ? around this corner. I don't know if I beat RJ. We're going to say you But, let me tell you something. Where is the guy? He was bumping me. And I was the one that got yelled at. <laughs> but it wasn't my fault. Go rough him up. It wasn't my fault. I think, Brian, you got me some. Uh, yeah, I did. I got good clips to you. Yum. Oh, didn't you bring these the other day? My mom baked cookies. May, did you cook these? I made cookies for you, James. Thank you, man. You're welcome, honey. <laughs> I got third that time. You got third? Yeah, because I 
beached out and took a pro card like you did. Uh, what was your best time? 30, 34.20, I think. 30, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a 37.7, I think. Still beat you. Yeah, show me the paperwork. <laughs> you hungry, Sammy? Mm-hmm. Good, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. 38.1. That was my best lap, 38.1. Not bad, I guess it's good. Grant, or Garrett said it's good, so. How was it? How was it? How was the food? Delicious. It's delicious. Delicioso. Yeah. See, he has half his meal left over. Shut up, Jet. All right, a lot of people had to leave because it's getting late. Everyone's got work. But we went out again, got my best time 37 3. I don't even know if that's good, but I'll take it. It's better than I did. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Oh, I got I, went, I got my best time on that one. I'm pretty stoked to be in the 37s. There you go. See, it's all about beating your personal time. Don't look at your friends because, you know, look at them all. And that was with Jimmy on a pro card, me on a regular card. So. But we all had an absolute blast. It was amazing. Um, being, in a, being able to hang out with all the guys. And, of course, go-karting is fun. Being competitive with your friends and, you know, driving in general is just awesome. Having everyone around. So, huge out again from Jay, Monza, on track and long for everything for putting this on for us. It was absolutely amazing just getting everyone together and uh, I couldn't be more more thankful so huge shout out to everyone that came out and uh, hopefully next year do it again do it more people and uh, yeah so tomorrow getting right back to work on the Civic grinding away and uh, make some good progress so with that you guys know the deal like comment subscribe stay tuned for more content and Brian what's up what's it what what end it have a great night we'll see you tomorrow oh bye <laughs>